Listen, I can definitely... You're right. What do you suppose? It wouldn't surprise... So, what are we waiting for? Will you look at that? The vomit. Labano was right. This place was ancient even to the Templars. This whole place? This is Baphomet? Finally, the truth. The Templars had never worshipped this graven image. No more than they'd worship a rainbow. But, like a rainbow, they regarded it as a symbol of a covenant with God who'd revealed this place to them. Rosso! Why the double-dealing treacherous? On the contrary. Inspector Rosso has been the model of obedience. An important quality in a true Templar. Now be quiet and watch if you wish to live much longer. Brothers and sisters, we are gathered here to witness the reforging of the sword that was broken. Here before God's sentinel, Baphomet. Grand Master and Knight of Baphomet, we salute and pledge our obedience to you. I salute you, Gatekeeper of the Temple. Seven centuries ago, our greatest weapon, the Sword of Baphomet, was lost to us. Now we prepare to reforge it, to wield against new enemies. We shall lead the people to a new order, wherein all borders will dissolve. All will be united under the Red Cross of the Templars. George, we have watched your efforts to stop us with respect. But surely you realize that you have been misled by our enemies. Both of us want a better world. Fortunately, no harm has been done. We need determined, resourceful men like you. Join us, George. Join us in true brotherhood. Yeah, true. Wait, brothers? What about Marquet? What about Pegram and Klausner? You didn't look on them as brothers, only as failures. Three men dead and you don't give a damn. George. You know that sacrifices are necessary. Every great undertaking. Join you. I'll see you in hell first. Ah, oh, George. I had great hopes for you. C'est la guerre. Eklund. Kill him. If it isn't the great detective and his beautiful assistant, it's going to be a pleasure killing the pair of you. Josh, what are we going to do?
Come on, Nico. We're leaving. You fools. You cannot escape us. Guido! Stop them. But, Master, the powder! That powder is from the English Civil War! You fool! He's over 300 years old! How explosive do you think it can be? I thought it was all over, but Nico had one last trick up her sleeve. Or in her handbag, to be exact. A handbag full of plastic explosives. Maybe, but this stuff is brand new. We didn't stay long in Scotland. George had a vacation to finish, and I had another story to write. Not the real story, of course, but enough half-truths to fill a page and pay my rent for the month. George and I hung out together in Paris. I showed him my favorite restaurants, and he told me his best jokes. You know, Nico, this city holds so many memories for me now. The cafes, the music. The sewers. Tell me about it. The clowns. The jugglers. <laughs> and your pal Labano. Oh, yes, dear Andre. When we first met, and I was doing my detective stuff, you kind of disappeared a lot, Nico. Were you and Labano, uh... There was something happening, but nothing to do with Andre. Uh-huh. It was something from the past that I had to deal with, on my own. So, I dealt with it, and now it's over. Hey, did I ever tell you the one about the old Irish couple in the lottery? No, but I think you're going to. Okay, there's this old Irish couple. They've been married forever, like 50 years. And they win the lottery. And they think, you know, what are we going to do? You know, they, 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 they... they...